piss blood. Leon blood Clark Bailey. I Good evening. I said it. He's not starting. In Bailey, Trey. In Bailey, bro. Of all people. Kid Bailey. Supported this team my whole life. Oh my days, blood. Kid Bailey. Of everyone it could be. It's in him. And all they give me is heartbreak. We're supposed to be the just best team in the league. Look at just. I'm done. you You're the worst player I've ever seen. He can't be on the pitch. Nobody can tell me this guy ain't match fixing. You just can't. He's doing it on purpose. I always. You lot, mate, sack this manager tonight. Sack him. It's over. You ball jobs. Finished. Sack Arteta today. That is the Spanish Brendan Rodgers. I've been saying it for years. I'm standing by my word. Until this guy wins something, I don't want to hear nothing. Good evening. It's epic, man. This is, this is, this is, this is, I live for this. I live for this. It makes me feel better. I feel therapy, guys. I feel better about myself. Even though Chelsea are in the mud, I can still banter him because, like I say, he's a slim middle shady. You can't come at me. Ain't mole. I'll spit on that mic. Let's have it right. I know what you're coming at me with, but you can't do me, mate. I'm mudding everyone else. Yeah? Let's have it right. And I'll mud you rivals as well because you're embarrassment, man. You're an absolute embarrassment in the game. Yeah? We got Super Mega Teta. He knows exactly what we need. No experience at the back. Fuck all minerals in attack. We're going to win. Fuck all you'll see. Let's have it right. Up the Chelsea, up the minerals FC. We land it everywhere we go, bro. So it right up the chills, up the minnows FC. Big up to every single one of you live and locked in. Up everyone's doing well, winning in life. First and foremost, guys, I want you all smashed to pieces that like button. If you haven't smashed that like button, smash it right now. Let's not be disrespectful here. Smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed to Minnows FC, make sure you do subscribe. Let's get up to 11k, 12k, and all the way up. You know how it goes. We got a notification bell, ding dong. Let's have it right. Make sure you smash that so you know when we go live on the Minnows FC. And we've also got the Minnows FC Ultras membership, which is pinned at the top live chat and down below in the description. We've also got the Rumble, Minnows FC on the Rumble. So make sure you go and smash that as well. Big up to every single one of you. I salute to all the Minnows FC Ultras, bruv. Every single one of you. We're going to have a blinder. So I hope everyone's strapped in and ready. I hope you've all got your super grandma. You're learning your love out to Super Game My Minerals, bruv. Let's have it right. Make sure you drink them tears in. Drink all them tears. Because I tell you what, <laughs> let's drink them in now. Let's drink all of their tears now. <laughs> Bottle jobs. Every single one of them. Dippers, bottle jobs. Lego head merchants, bottle jobs. Spursy, Andrew, hey, good day. Bottle jobs. Let's have it right. Everyone, me United, United, United. Bottle jobs. You're all bottle jobs. Let's have it right. And like I always say, you can't mud Chelsea. You can't mud me because I mud all these clowns that are running our football club. I know we're in the gutter. I know Chelsea are a long way from Starbucks, long way from Champions League, long way from competing anything, long way from finding any minerals in the realms of the earth, bruv, because ain't none for these clowns. All right? But the, the reality is, the reality is, you lot are giving it big and You're giving it all the chest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big Daddy Bollocks. Well, Lego Ed, we're going to go and win the title. We're going to go and win the Champions League. We've got Super Mega Teta. He knows how you are. What's he, what's he know? What's he know? What's he know? I'll tell you what. Lego Ed Merchant thought he was Pep Guardiola. He's a Z-Tech Pep Guardiola. I'll tell you why. Because he overthinks things. He's like brains in Thunderbirds. He just doesn't know what to do. Against uh, Good Evening. Good Evening. Come uh, literally shut the whole shit down. And... Allow the, allow the minerals to land. And I'll tell you this, Lego Head overthought things just like Pep Guardiola does, except Pep Guardiola's elite gaffer. Lego Head ain't won nothing in his entire history, bruv. Let's have it right. What's he won? He ain't done nothing. He's in phase 4.5. 
and he still ain't won nothing except for that lucky FA Cup where we got robbed off. So here we are sitting here, bruv. He overthinks it. He plays that B Tech Bar Simpson, the old Zichenko. He puts Kai Everts on the left side of midfield, which ain't his really his position. Let's have it right. He doesn't play Georgino. He plays Zezus, this injury prone geezer, up front. And let's have it right. Old Saka. He's clear of Foden. He's clear of Mason Mount. He's clear of everyone. He's our star boy. What star boy minerals did he land? He didn't land nothing, bro. He learned nothing. He was firing blanks like Nico Jackson, Slosh Pot Wet, bruv. Maybe he's on Slosh Pot Wet's rotor, bruv. Who knows? The sack is a long way from it, bruv. He's a long way from learning any kind of minerals. I'll tell you that now. When your team needs it, oh, yeah, uh, you're in the bin. You're in the gutter. And Trossard, this geezer looks like the Joker without makeup. This guy, man, this guy's a fraud, bruv. A seagull merchant, come to get his payday, come to try and win nothing. You ain't winning nothing. I'll tell you that now. You just let Manchester City... Just steam ahead, bruv. They've got the Viking alien up front. They've got Bernardo Silva, De Bruyne. They've got Grealish. They've got Foden. They've got all the minerals there, bruv. All right. They're not going to lose this now. They're not going to lose this now. And let's have it right. I hope that we come to the Emirates and we piss on their brigade, bruv. And we land it and we completely put them in the gutter, bruv. All right, that's what I want. I need that. That will, for me, it's a highlight of the season. It's to have all these goons that are giving it all the big end in the mud. And that's the first one, yeah? And let's have it right. He dropped Georgino. What a, what a plonker. What a Lego in. Obviously, he's, he's lost all train of thought, bruv. I mean, why would you change a winning formula when you've got Kai Havertz, the Burkamp S Minerals, as false nine in the system with Georgino sitting there just pulling the strings? No, let's mix it up. Let's play around. Let's, let's, let's try and banter with Good Evening, Unai Emery, who doesn't muck around. Let's have it right. He weren't mucking around whatsoever. In fact, he came to the Emirates and said, hello, yes, we like our paella, and we're going to eat paella all day long, and we're going to rinse you, we're going to mud you, we're going to take those three points from the Emirates. Let's have it right. And that's exactly what he got and done, bruv. Yeah, that's what he's got and done. And this is the thing, bruv, you know, you got done by Villa. Ollie Watkins, let's have it right. Played fantastic, bruv. And let's have it right. Leon Bailey, proper Chels, comes to the rescue, man. All the proper Chels minerals land eventually, bruv. And they put the Arsenal in their grave, bruv. Because let's have it right. That's it. That's it for me. They're done. And let's hope that Tommy T lands the damn minerals at Munich, bruv. And absolutely capitulates the goons and Lego. And then it's the meltdown. And all the Lego head in the merchants, all the little Arteta Super Mick Arteta stands, give him time, we back him, we love our gaffer, um, yeah, they'll be going to their drawers, pulling out the Arteta out t-shirts, sorry, it's Lego Ed out t-shirts, they'll be back in the mix, and then the whole process starts again, and Lee Gunner sits there with his Havana bruv, mugging everyone off, because he's right, let me right, <laughs> you can't write this, you know, I enjoy it bruv, I enjoy the mud, mud in these rivals. I enjoy it because they're so arrogant. They give it all the time, bruv. All the time they give it, bruv. And let's have it right. What's his name? McGinn, bruv. This guy looks like he's come out of some sci-fi film, bruv. All right? Some some sort of gremlin-looking fella. This guy's landing down minerals, bruv. He's got plenty of games under his belt. Running ragged in the midfield. They didn't know what to do, bruv. They couldn't break him down, bruv. They were trying to break down walls like... Meatloaf Bailey's breaking walls at Chelsea, and they can't even do that. And they've had, they've had a process. This trust the process. I blame Arsenal. Arsenal implemented this trust the process nonsense. And where's it getting them? Nothing. They're going to bottle another title, another title challenge. The so-called title challenge that they had last year was the best ever chance. They bottled that as well. Let's have it right. And the year before that, Lego had bottled it as Spursy for top four. So what are we doing here? What are we doing here? That's not the benchmark. These clown lakes need to wake up, smell of that super grandma, and understand this ain't the this ain't the benchmark. This is a this is exactly not what to focus on, bruv. Because I tell you what, there was not enough experience, not enough minerals, and they bottled it. And then we go to a clop, old clop, the veneer merchant. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa. As they land the damn minerals at Crystal Palace, it's the palace at the cop. The palace lands the minerals at the cop. You know what I'm saying? Is it Roy Hodgson? He's about 90 years old. Don't all club me like a kipper. You know what I'm saying? The old lock jaw or clop in the mud, in the gutter. Cry your eyes out. The farewell party, the farewell circus. 
I'll tell you what, mate, continue, bub, because they're in the mud as well. You know, another competition, they're going to lose another title race that they're out of as well. You could arguably say they're slightly in it. I doubt it, bub. Let's have it right. And you've got Mohamed Salah, you know, prancing around like a ballerina doing his lovely shows. You all saw it start the show. Well, yeah, he's a shambles, bruv. I mean, where was his minerals at? Where are the clutch minerals at? And then you've got that fraudulent, lanky Pocahontas up front who can't finish his dinner about six yards out, outside of the box, or inside the box, should I say, six yards inside the box and rifles it straight at Henderson. I mean, you can't make this shit up. Um, what about Yota and all these guys? Bottle jobs. Bottle jobs. Endo. Oh, yeah, they're singing their praise about Endo. Endo, well, doesn't look too healthy for him, does he? It's a boss guy. What a waste of money that is. I mean, really, you got the dippers now. They're all crying out FSG out now. They're all giving it this now because it's not going their way. Listen, it's like that. They flip, 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 flop, flip, flop, flip, flop. Literally flip, flop, smack. Flip flops. And do you know what? It couldn't have happened to a nicer fan base. You've got Jamie Carragher giving it bigger and trying to rob this geezer's mobile phone at a game. I mean, that's typical scouse moves, isn't it? They'll try and rob anything. Well, you can't rob the Premier League title. Let's have it right because you're not good enough. And how you can lose to Atalanta and then back to back, you lose to Crystal Palace, who are in a, sh in a shambles, bruv. I mean, told you everything you need to know, bruv. And they could have had three goals. And let's have it right. If you don't take your chances, you don't get those pointsies. So have it right. So, yeah, you brought on and Van Dick. Let's talk about Van Dick. Van Dick wants to be his idol, Stevie Slippy G. G. Yeah, Slippy Gerard. He wants to slip. Almost cost him. But let's have it right. You slipped up in this game and cost yourself a title. And you let Manchester United, you know Manchester City run away with it. Fuck me, man. They're going to go four titles back to back. They could be winning the treble. You know what I'm saying? Even Paul Merson's landing down minerals. Even Paul Merson's landing down minerals. Says, That's it, man. They're out of it. They're out of it. The momentum's gone. Yes, they're out of it. They're bottle jobs. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Bottle jobs, mate. Yeah, absolute bottle jobs. Drink them damn minerals in. You ain't ever going to be like Chelsea Football Club. Do you understand me? We're the biggest club in London. We're the most elite club in London. We see things they'll never see. And make sure you understand that, bruv. Just because we're sitting mid-table and we're a capitulation, that still stands. We are the biggest club in London. We're the most elite club in London. So drink them damn minerals in. And what else? They're dippers, yeah? Oh, what a shame, bruv. You know, absolutely fumbled it. Um, the farewell clock farewell party is is just, I mean, it's lit. Let's have it right. Everyone's buzzing. Everyone's buzzing outside of Scouse Land. Scouse Land is in a bit in the dumps at the moment. In fact, they're in the bins. They're all in the bins right now because they don't know what to do. They don't know where to go because Liverpool are going to capitulate without clock. Let's have it right. Been here, Merchant, with no, no Liverpool. Oh, mate, what are they going to do, bruv? Who are they going to bring in? Not even Marcus Alonso. Not, not Marcus Alonso. Shabby Alonso don't even want to go there, bruv. Doesn't want to go near it, bruv. So, what a shame. Um, yeah, you're in the mud. You're in the bin. Um, you bin dippers. Let's have it right. And we drink that. We drink them minerals in. Um, but for me, the beautiful the beautiful one is mwah, Arsenal in the mud. Yeah? It couldn't have happened to the best fan base, bruv. Yeah? They're giving it all this big and they're so confident. They're so arrogant, bruv. All right? And they actually think they're bigger than Chelsea. Um, that they're sitting there now um, going, oh, what has happened? I'm furious. What's Lego here doing? What are all these players doing? Oh, well, when you don't play your Georgino and Kajovic in the position that works where they're landing clutch minerals, that's what you get, bruv. Because everyone else in your team ain't good enough. So have it right. What's happened to your amazing defence, bruv? You got cut through like a knife through batter by Aston Villa. Aston Villa now chasing Champions League football. What an embarrassment, bruv. It's an absolute embarrassment. All right, and these are meant to be meant to be title contenders to Manchester City. Manchester City are, are weakened. Manchester City. That's not even their best team. And look at them landing minerals, bruv. No one can keep up with them. And what fucking chance have Chelsea got? Let's ask that question. What chance has Chelsea got to catch Manchester City because of the state that they put us in? That's how I get rattled, man. I always get rattled in this nonsense. One billion spent. And look at the state of us, pal. We can't even get out of mid-table, man. You know, teams are capitulating. United, United, bald hog. What a wrong and bruv. I mean, this guy just knows he's a dead man walking. This guy's go, he's just gone. He's finished. He's going to get sacked, bruv. He's going to get a chop. All right? Casemiro's got no legs no more, bruv. You know what I'm saying? 
They can't run in that midfield. And how's Mayno, bruv? Mayno looks a lovely talent, but he needs Casemiro laying in minerals. He looks like he's running in mud 24-7. And Rashford, this guy with no ball IQ, just runs like fucking roadrunner, bruv. All right? And that's all he that's all he does is run. This guy's got no minerals, no nothing. He's on 500 grand a week. What a rip-off, bruv. What a daylight robbery. And then Hoyland, this guy, man. Oh, man. Bring back that geezer that, 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 as, a, as that meme is singing that song, bruv. I think he needs to come back to help him rejuvenate this geezer. Because this guy can't hold, hold a ball up, all right? And then you leave Mason Mount to come on with 10 minutes to go. And you lot are fucking playing Bournemouth. 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 These lot are shambles. How are Man United above us? I'll tell you why. Because they've got experience to fall back on. We ain't got experience. In fact, we've got no experience in our team. All right? And that's why United are where they are, and they're a shambles. But don't worry. They're going to get restructured. They're going to bring in Thomas Tuchel. Don't shoot the minerals, man. Don't shoot the minerals, man. And when that happens, it's going to be a meltdown for me because Tommy T should be at our club. Yeah? Should be at Chelsea. He's brought the Chelsea, and he should be at Chelsea Football Club. And that's the reality situation. That is the reality. Let's not forget the facts of why we are where we are at Chelsea Football Club. And we'll address that. We'll address that. But first of all, let me enjoy the mud in. I love drinking their tears. I love it. You know what? Man City are going to win it. It's like no one cares that Man City keep winning the Premier League. I do. I do. But I don't want the Dippers winning it. I definitely don't ask them winning it. Let's have it right. And let go, Ed. Uh, and I want their trust the process and phase fives to continue. Just keep it going, bruv. Like everyone wants our trust the process to continue. Our kindergarten FC to continue. Epstein FC to continue. Everyone wants it to continue. They want the, the, the Clown Lake era to continue, bruv. I don't want it. I want it in the bin, bruv. I want it in the bin like in Scouse land. You understand me? That's where it belongs, mate. In the gutters. And let's not forget Spursy. Spursy always falls apart. Spursy always falls apart. And do you know why? It's their DNA. It's Arsenal's DNA for the last 18 years to be like this. Trust the process and all this nonsense. It's uh, um, Man United's DNA is just... Gone since Sir Alex Ferguson left the realm. Let's have it right. I mean, the whole thing's falling down. You got Old Trafford falling down, leaking with piss 24-7, and they still haven't done that. Uh, but yeah, our, our owners are 100%. Let's have it right, worse than the Glazers. Um, they haven't brought in a, a, a nonsense project. But this PR process nonsense has come from Arsenal Football Club, and that's what's destroyed football. It's just, it's just absolutely destroyed it. This whole era of Arsenal for the 18 years, 20 years of this whole trust the process, bring through kids. Has that worked out? What have they won? Have they won anything? Have they done anything? Do they look decent? Are they landing their minerals? Absolutely not. They ain't landing no minerals, bro. Yeah? Nothing whatsoever, bro. Yeah? The Arsenal project is a failure. It's a failure. It's a PR success and a failure. Because why? The supporters are just happy to be in the Champions League now. Oh, we've had a taste of Champions League. Look at us. And we'll get knocked out against Bayern Munich and that's it. Do you know what I mean? They ain't got a chance against Bayern Munich. You're a long way from Starbucks if you think you're going to win against Tommy T's Bayern Munich, where they've got a formidable record. Then, yes, they bottled the league, but let's have it right. It's a freak season from Shabby Alonso's Lake of Ecclesen. A freak season. Let's see how he does next season. And they ain't got the money to spend, so have it right. But, you know, that's that's the, for next season to discuss. But this season, Bayern Munich, I, they're going to go and win the... They're going to go and win the Champions League, mate. I can't see Arsenal having any any chance of salvaging this season. And if they get knocked out, it's a capitulation in one week. One week. And they just fall, it all falls down. And it all, all falls down. Kanye West, shout out to go. Let's have it right. It's all falls down. Capitulation. Lego head in the mud. Suck him. Get rid of him. Suck him now. Suck this gaffer. That's all to come. And then who are you going to get? Who's going to come to this shambles of a project? Ain't no one elite coming to this project like no one elite wants to come to our project. And that's where you are. Now you stagnate. Now you just fall down, bro. And that's, and that's the reality at Arsenal. It's the reality at Chelsea. Except we're all right. We won the lot. We won two Champions League, two Europa League, Super Cup, Club World Cup. We're landing it, bro. Don't worry about us. We got it all stocked up, bruv. We got heritage and history. So we don't have to worry about that. We can go another eight years with these clown lakes. Let's have it right. And they ain't gonna win nothing. And we still we're still a bigger club than every London club. 
Let's have it right. And when these clowns finally leave and get out of our football club, the cancer that they are, the pits that they are, all right, once they leave our football club, then we'll we'll kick on again and we'll dominate. Let's have it right. But we ain't dominate with these clowns. I'll tell you that now. 100, 100% I guarantee it. I certify it. Yeah? Let's have it right. Um, so, fantastic news. You know, we love to drink the minerals in. And uh, listen, smash them likes. Make sure you smash them likes because, you know what I'm saying, we need to get this out there. We need to get it out there, you know. All, all the Arsenal are, are in the mud. And, and then that is, for me, is therapy. I feel good. I'm happy. And that's all that matters, you know. I go into tonight's game. I must win. A must-win game. Let's have it right. Everyone else has dropped points. West Ham's dropped points. You got uh, what's his name? Uh, duh, 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 duh. United. United dropped points. Newcastle are on form. Battered Spurs. Eight. They capitulated. Let's have it right. Eddie Haller. In fact, let's get on to that because another thing that rattles me. Have you not seen the waffle? The PR merchantry that's flying about. The PR merchantry. The latest yesterday is the. Gaffer candidate list. The ones that are on the list from these clowns. They brought us the herpes, which everyone's twerking for, the horizontal, the vertical, the old cutting shapes. You're like, I'm in my mum's basement and I'm in a club. You know what I'm saying? All the Twitter virgins, all the XG porn merchants, all of the uh, football manager merchants, FIFA merchants. Oh, yeah, the herpes. How's he doing? He's below Chelsea. So it tells you what we're, what we're getting there. Non-elite hasn't won nothing. In fact, he's capitulating with the Seagull merchants. But they're just happy to cream on top, make money, which is what their model is. So, yeah, I into that. I ain't into the herpes. So suck him off the list. The next one they bring up is Dumbo Frank. He wants to fly from Brentford across London to Chelsea Football Club. Now, let's have it right. Let's get a... Yeah, let's get him down. Let's get him down. Or well, let's take the, the scene from Dumbo where they're all drugged out. Let's have it right. Um, and let that just be eternal, bruv. All right? I don't need Thomas Dumbo is Frank anywhere near this football club just because he's little guru is set piece taker. He's now signed by Chelsea Football Club. Don't you dare. And apparently, he's very much on the list. He's very favoured by these clowns. Of course he is. He's another yes man. Ain't won nothing. Ain't done nothing. He's fighting relegation. I don't want this nonsense at Chelsea Football. Get me a gaffer. Change the model. Get me a leak gaffer. And then the next one they bring up is Eddie Haller. Eddie Haller. This guy bottles everything, man. This guy ain't elite, bruv. This guy in the top top tier, Gaffer, what's he done? In fact, he's taken Newcastle because of our capitulation, Liverpool's capitulation, into Champions League and Spurs' capitulation, so have it right. And there we go. He got knocked out in the group stage because they ain't good enough. They spent a lot of money and they have to sell a load of players. And now they're back to trying to fight and get up the ladder, bro. All right? I don't know. Eddie Howell at our football club. And then the other guy is, what's his name? Arnie. Arnie Slot. Because he wears a stony and there's some shades like he thinks he's in the Matrix, some Agent Smith or something. I don't want this guy, bruv. What's he done at Frankfurt? Are we having a... What, what are we doing here, bruv? From the Dutch League, is that a benchmark? Who else is on the list? Who else? Yeah, I, it's embarrassing. You bring me Jose Marino, you bring me Thomas Tuchel back, or you bring me Nagelsmann, all right? We can't even get Enrique now, all right? Is that it right? These are the gaffers I want. Elite. I want to lay the foundations. I want us to kick on, bruv. And that changed the model. The realities were stuck with Poch. Why did they give this list? I'll expose them for what they are, these brand envelopes from Matrix, yeah? I'll expose them for what they are. The reason they put these guys on the list is exactly what they did with Pochettino, giving us uh, light bulb head company and uh, Andrew with Pochettino, bruv, yeah? That's what they gave the list there. So Pochettino looks the more experienced, as Premier League experience. Oh, he's got Spurs to a Champions League final, which he bottled. Oh, he got he got uh, Spurs in a title race and bottled it to Leicester. Shout out Eden Hazard. Let's have it right. Go at Stamford Bridge, mudding them 2-2. Two -two. Let's have it right. Um, let's have it right. Uh, yeah. Um, Pochino's the best on the list. Again, now, you give me a list of Dumbo Frank, the Herpes, Arnie Slaughterals, bruv. And who else? Who else? Eddie Howler. Well, Pochettino, whether we like it or not, is a better gaffer, which is why they've given us that list, because they want to stick with Bottletino, bruv. And Bottletino wants to stay for his payday. The reality of the situation is we don't want him. He's proper Spursy. He's not good enough. His squad ain't good enough. I don't even blame this gaffer at this point, but fuck me. What do you think? If Pochettino, Bottletino can't do nothing with his squad, 
What the hell are these young, inexperienced, non-elite gaffers going to do with this squad? And then we're going to sacrifice going into another season without Champions League football, without European football. We can't even get Conference League football this way. And I don't want Conference League. People propping Conference League and getting the bin, getting the woods, bruv. All right? I'm not interested in Conference League. Conference League is for, it's for losers, bruv. I don't want to be travelling around all that. What's all that about? All right? Europa League is a bare minimum. And let's have it right. Financially, you can't afford to not be in Europa League. You need it this season. But let's have it right. Bottino comes out. He goes, Europe, ah, ah, no chance. We're not getting Europe. The squad's too thin. The squad's this, this, that. Ah, moan, moan, moan. Excuse, excuse. I mean, he's not wrong. He's not wrong, is he? Um, but people want to come at Bottino. But the reality is he's actually speaking the truth. We're not good enough. We're a mid-table team. Even if we win tonight, we stay where we are ninth. And our games in hand are Arsenal and Spursy. Now, I expect us to beat Spurs. That's a, that's a given. You have to beat Spurs at home. 100%. I'm not accepting anything less. And I want to beat Arsenal. Now, if you do do that, depending on everyone else not capitulating any further, and I doubt they will, then we might have a chance. The reality is it ain't happening. All right? Let's not dream. Dreams can come true. No. One eye patch merchant. No, it's not happening. Sorry. I know it's a number one hit. There ain't no number one hits at Clown Lake, bruv. All right. So um, that's not happening. Even the women's team's getting fucking done as well now. Losing to United yesterday. Everything's capitulating, bruv. We've got Emma Hayes leaving. The last piece of DNA, bruv. Everything's gone. Everything's been gutted out of this football club. It's absolutely disgraceful, man. And people propping this shit. All right. Well, it's your problem, mate. Not my problem. I've been exposing it. I'm happy to expose it. I'll continue to expose it like I expose everything now. Because the reality situation is, all these gaffers that they're giving us is a disgrace. It's an absolute disgrace, all right? That people even want to, you know, it's like, how many times I have to say it? If we don't protest and we don't riot, then happy go lucky. Don't bitch and moan when next season we get another mediocre manager and we stagnate again because all they're happy to do is make money. And they are making money. In fact, these loophole merchants, just like Meat Loaf Bowley, I would do anything for pound notes and experience. I ain't buying that. Sorry, we ain't buying that. Because you've got Siri Merchant with his Birkin bags and, and Meat Loaf with his, uh, with his food, his happy P.I. happy meals. You've got Hunchback and Notre Dame Wise. All right, this guy's absolutely loaded, bruv. But, I mean, is he going to live uh, any more years to see that that cash, bruv? He can't take it with him, so have it right. But apparently he's handing over his 5% share to his grandchildren who don't even know who Chelsea Football Club is. So have it right. So let's just land the facts and, and the reality of the situation of who's running a football club. And you've got Jose Felici Fagaziano who says and states, which we have to enlighten and highlight and keep highlighting it relentlessly, it is more important to build business value than uh, win or lose on the on the field. Yeah, great. Well, that is exactly what's happening. Because what they're doing is loophole merchants with Meatloaf Bodhi sitting as chairman, who comes out like big daddy bollocks, doesn't want to speak to the Chelsea Sports Trust, uses the fan advisory board with Siri Merchant, the arrogance, disrespect, doesn't want to respond to the Strasbourg Ultras, and they're going to have to. All right. That's the reality because that's going to continue, bruv. Their banners are still landing high and fly. All right. And then you've got these lot coming out on Forbes, the old meatloaf, saying, you know, oh, um, we have to stay on course. It's a trust the process and all this. Well, how's Lego is trust the process? I'm not for that, mate. Yeah. We ain't a trust the process club. We're trust winning trophies. That's the facts, bruv. All right. The other. The other fact of the matter is, he comes out yesterday, of course he does, like big bollocks, meatloaf, um, except he ain't got no number one hits, let's have it right, in his Argyle film that he's using Chelsea Football Club to promote. Yeah, let's have it right. Um, and that fraudulent taking our Chelsea sign down and putting up that while the game's going on and left it on there for a couple of weeks because he's a Golden, golden Globe merchant, all right? That was a shit film, all right? Two-star rating. You've got Enzo with his fraudulent little cat, bruv, all right? Backpack, using these players to like puppets to promote this nonsense, all right? You want to come out and say, don't worry, guys. You know, we're very confident of meeting PSR, bruv. We're going to be fine with financial fair play. Of course you're going to be fine. I always said it. They'll find a loophole. They'll find a way to balance the books. And that's exactly what they're going to do. But however, we have to learn the facts and the minerals of the situation. Now, I'm not no finance expert. I'm not going to claim to be a finance expert. I'm not on Wall Street. I'm not a Wall Street merchant, bro. 
Don't worry. I understand what money's in the bank account. I understand what I spend. I know my profit and losses and all that jazz. Yeah, my KPIs and all that jazz. I get all that. But the reality of the situation is, if you want to go into detail with these nonsense, well, we'll say what they are. You know, Epstein FC merchants. These guys, yeah, all right, basically have come out and made a statement when it suits them to try and calm the fan base. But let's have it right. What have they gone and done? They've sold two hotels that were under Chelsea FC Holdings Limited, all right, to their other company, Blue Code 22, whatever it is, uh, Properties Limited, bruv, all right? And they bought it for, what, 74 million, whatever the amount is, 75 million. That 75 million, they have bought those two hotels. Fantastic. So Chelsea Football Club profits 74, 75 million from the two hotels. Great, great move. And we're in the step. But it doesn't stop. It doesn't change the fact that they still have to raise money. Lukaku's, Melon Sars, um, Keppers, all these players, bruv. If you don't make profit on these players and sell them for more than what they should be, you're going to be on a loss, which means you're still in the situation where you have to sell Conor Gallagher. You have to sell Lewis Hall, which if uh, Newcastle reach their, their their top four or whatever, they have to buy Lewis Hall. That's in the contract. All right. You're going to sell, Mel uh, what's his name, um, Matson. You're going to sell Trev, Trev Chalaba. So that's all pure profit, bruv, as they've used Mason Mount, which was a key fact that Mason Mount is uh, part of the books for that, that season. Now, they still have to make $105 million, they need a raise, even by buying the two hotels. Let that sink in. So this is a great PR stunt, a nice business move, because that's what they are. They're savvy businessmen. They're Wall Street merchants, venture capitalist merchants. That's what they are, hedge fund merchants. They're great at that, except they're not great at running a football club because they've gone and spunked a billion. 235 million has got to seek our merchants, all right, which is the reason we're in this mess right now that you've got to go and sell two hotels from Chelsea to your company, second company, under Blue Coat. Let's have it right. What a shambles. What an embarrassment. After 19 months of owning our football club, because that's how poorly we're run, bringing in mint, mint directors, Kerry Ewan, Stanley, Stuart Little, and all these not these wrong-ins, bruv. All right? That's the reality situation. That's the reality. You have to still raise money. And our Cobham boys will be sold. So do you want to wait till you want to riot then, when it's pre-season, when they're sold after the Euros, when it's too late and we're not at the ground? Or do you want to protest before that, before they get to that point? Because the reality is they don't care. They're not interested in the supporters. They dismiss the Chelsea Supporters Trust. The Chelsea Supporters Trust don't want to, you know, rattle feathers. What a piss poor approach that is. No minerals, no backbone now. I'm very disappointed. Very disappointed with that. Shout out to Stevie G for letting me know. Let's have it right. That is a joke. All right. Rattle feathers. Tread on their toes. Let's have it right. We need to come with sledgehammers. What are we doing here, bruv? We need to let them know what the, what the time it is, bruv, because they've killed our football club, all right? And now they're propping all of this, selling the two hotels. I want to learn this one. They have bought these two hotels. What happens when they sell Chelsea Football Club? Because those hotels aren't part of Chelsea Football Club no more. They own the two hotels. What happens about them rebuilding the stadium if they own those? Are they still allowed to rebuild or do they have to sell them back to Chelsea to rebuild? You know what I'm saying? Look at the loophole. Look at the madness. Maybe they bought these two hotels with the outright intention, knowing they're not going to rebuild the stadium because they can't do it until, what, 2027? They can't build buying those mansions, but they bought the real estate, which will, what, quadruple in value by then? Double in value? They're going to have the hotels double in value? So even if they don't rebuild and they sell the, the stadium and they sell these properties... They're making untold money, bruv. Massive profits. Huge, huge profit billies. We're milking Chelsea Football Club. Let's have it right. And not only that, not only that, yeah? Let's have it right. Drinking these damn minerals, yeah? They will, they will, they will still increase all the, all the tickets, all the food and beverages. They'll increase everything that they can increase. Programs, you name it, in every nick and cranny that they can find to give... The same revenue is a capacity of a 60,000 with the existing 41,000, 40,000 capacity. And there is no need to build a stadium because by 2027, they're looking to sell this club 
at 2000, 2030. So where are you going rebuilding the stadium 2027? That takes six years. And they think they can get it done in what? Three years? No, nah, mate. Listen, I don't buy it. The PR's wonderful. It's great. So now we're, we're all good with uh, financial fair play because Meet No Bailey's come out and landed the minerals, the, the fraudulent minerals, the PR stunt. I want to ask another question. Does anyone know if these hotels being bought are already on the books already for last for the last year's books? And does it actually go on to this year's books, which is where we're in shit? Has anyone documented that? Because if that's the case, and it's already been done, this is a fantastic PR stunt to calm the fan base down. So what's the need and necessary, right, to try and mud Don Roman? How are you trying to mud Don Roman? Don Roman's got nothing to do with it, bro. Don Roman's got nothing to do with it, yeah? Except they were using Don Roman to tarnish his name, tarnish his legacy, try and mud him when he can't speak for himself because he's sanctioned by these crooks in the UK government and rubbed our football club by a rain group and brought these clown lakes to our football club and said it right and said that's what they are. This is the reality, yeah? All right? They've muddied, they try to mud Roman, blaming him on FFP when let's have it right. Everything they are doing now is to rectify their mistakes that they made ever since they walked through the club because they don't know what they're doing. They haven't got a clue. The only thing they know what they're doing is how to make money. And right now they're making money. And the joke of it all, and this is a great PR stunt. Let me land this one and expose these clown legs what they are. They've come out and uh, it's all, all the brand owners have come out and said, oh, um, the players, the new signings are going to happy to drop, cut their wages because of no Champions League football. No, you wrong end. They have to. Their wages are cut now anyway. Why? Because Champions League, they get their bonuses only when they're in the Champions League, which means their wages go up. So on the books, knowing they're not in the Champions League for that period, they can say, look at the wage structure. It's right down. So therefore, our profits are decent. You know what I'm saying? This whole point of bringing in Kindergarten FC to farm players, build players, make money, but at the same time, bring uh, their, in their eyes, world-class youngsters uh, on low wage structure, on eight-year amortized contracts, that spread out the payment, and this is what they are, loophole merchants. And that's why Meatloaf Bowley sitting on as chairman for earning 20 million a year is milking our football club. What's the necessary? Is that going on the books? That ain't profit, bruv. That's loss. 20 million loss just for his wages. And he's a co-founder. So he's already found a loophole with the Glazers Clause in that, bruv. Let's have it right, bruv, man. We expose for what it is. I'm not going into details about the financials, bro. I mean, what's the point? Everyone knows that Mason Mount is on the books and profit for the last for the last year, just about deadline, bro, for the previous year. And that's why he was sold because he's pure profit. That's why Connor will be sold. It's already been documented. Connor and the family are very disappointed that there's been no negotiation discussions. There's no willingness to up his contract or keep him, and they expect him to be sold, bro. Because that's the reality. He's going to be sold. So all of the all the guy, all the supporters that love Conor Gallagher and want him to stay because of what he represents, even though he's not actually the level that we need to play Champions League, because he didn't get in our Champions League squad, but he's the best midfielder we got because our 300 midfield or 230 midfield, because one of them is injured in Labia till the end of the season. Um, haven't been laying the minerals. Enzo's come out with lovely PR, owning up, saying, you know, I haven't been good enough. I'm trying to get myself back to fitness. Fair enough, bruv. Do what you want to do. But talk is cheap. And it's a little bit late, bruv. You came from last January, and we're now over a year you've been at Chelsea, and you still haven't landed any minerals, bruv. You know, it's very disappointing. So we expect minerals tonight and kick on, bruv. The reality is Conor Gallagher has been our best, one of our best players. Thiago Silva, one of our best players. And Pochettino, the fraud, comes out and says, oh, you know, this is a project again. Um, and, you know, this is different to how it was before. Yeah, it's different because Roman was elite, bruv. Roman had standards, didn't give us this kindergarten kiddie multi-kid project, bruv. Copying Red Bull, copying uh, a Red Bull uh, a club that's only been existed for 17 years, bruv. Ain't won anything elite. Copying the Seagull Merchants, a mid-table club that are actually below us and happy to be there. They're supposed to just happy to be in the Premier League and, and, and make, make, make massive profits on players that they, they buy from wherever they scout them, bruv using their AI patented scouting, which is what these clowns are doing, all right, with all their data. Well, I know all this crap. I understand all this crap, yeah? I've been exposed to all this nonsense for, for over a year, bruv. And here we are sitting here with Pochettino going, we need to bring more younger players, 
More younger players are rattling me. You're having me on, bruv. More younger players. How many more younger players do you want to bring to this football club? How many more? Is this a wind-up, bruv? And some experience. You ain't getting no experience. Experience. We ain't buying that. Because I would do anything for pound notes. What a wrong and meatloaf and clown like bruv and Siri merchant. They ain't going to buy no experience because they can't do it because of FFP and because we're out of Europe. And do you know how costly it is that like, we're not in Europe? Financially, it's killing our club, bruv, which is, means they have to go even younger in the market on lower wages just to keep afloat with FFP, all right? And that means we ain't getting Champions League football. We're going to have a younger team, bruv, all right? Wake up. Smell the love at Super Clemmer. Understand what is happening at Chelsea. And if we don't protest and we don't act, we are finished. We're already finished, but we'll be dead and buried. It'll be RIP Chelsea. And I'll stand by it. I stony certify it. I say it with chest, bruv. I ain't, I ain't scaremongering like these clowns want to scaremonger. The reality is the situation is Chelsea's in this financial mess. All right. We are in a financial mess right now. And Pochettino, Pochettino, he ain't getting experience. This guy wants to, he's saying, oh, I have to, um, you know, speak to the the hierarchy and accept, basically, you know, give my acceptance. You ain't giving no acceptance. You're accepting yes man tax because he's a yes man. He ain't got no bottle. He ain't got no minerals, bruv. All right. This guy's nothing. Jellyfish potch, bruv. Jellyfish bottle Tino, bruv. That's what we got at Chelsea. And that's the reality because this model only compensates for a yes man. That's it. End of. That's why we ain't getting no elite gaffer, bro. Elite gaffer changed the model. Elite directors sack these mid-directors. Sack everyone, bro. All right? Listen, no one's saying it how I say. They want a prop. Look at Bowley and Clown Lake. Look at them loopholes. They, oh, we're bigging them up. Bigging them up, bro. That's an ace in the back. They didn't want to use that, buying the two hotels. The reality is they want those two hotels because they want to own them on their other company, bro. They've got that investment. They're real estate merchants. That's what they do. They want their equity merchants, Yanks, Moneyball. So it right. That's all they're interested in is capital, bruv. They want that capital. Now they got it. You understand me? They are putting, they are literally mugging the supporters off, using these brown envelopes to prop all this shit. Toothpick Jacobs, Nizaki Kisela, uh, what's his name? Fabrizio Fraudulent, 20 hours a day merchant Romano, bruv, and all these guys, bruv, Pornsteins and all this. They are there to be the mouthpiece for these clowns, bruv. And did you not notice that the PR has gone down except for this banger here? Because they wanted, the FFP went very quiet. They were getting excited with the Man United win. And then it all fell down, bruv. Why did it all fall down, bruv? Why? Why did it all fall down? Because of the shit results, yeah? More shit results. You understand me? This is where we are now. We're a mess. Smash the likes, smash that subscribe button. You ain't getting it anywhere else, bruv, yeah? We ain't ever going to get Champions League football. If you remember what these clowns said, they said we need another two transfer windows just to get Champions League football. That means that's four seasons into their ownership just to get Champions League football, which means in your fifth season of ownership, you will play Champions League football. Financially, we can't do that. Financially, their model is the only thing that will work because of where they put us. Do you understand what they're doing? This is tactful. This is what they've done. This is premeditated. This is what they want. They're not going to change the model, mate. Yeah? They won't change it. So we have to force them out. They can sell the club. Don't believe the PR that's been fed out that they're locked in for 10 years. It's the biggest load of bang and smash waffle. No one can prove it. So if you can't prove it, it don't mean it exists then, does it? So have it right. So let's land it for what it really is, bruv. Of course, Bottletino's just happy to be there, bruv. He's just happy to be there. I need to keep landing it, bruv. Big up to everyone. Smash the likes. Smash the likes. He says, this is what Pochettino comes out. He says, John Terry was young. I don't believe when he was 18, 19, he was already a leader. Are you winding me up, bruv? Are you winding me up? John Terry, Captain... Leader legend was born a leader. He was born a middles general. He was learning off this IE, bruv. We had Frank LeBeouf there. We had elite generals in our team then. Do you understand me? He was learning off the best of the best. World Cup winners and all that jazz. Yeah. He was born that way. He's Cobham DNA. We don't even have that, bruv. You've, these clowns have gutted all our Cobham DNA, bruv. 
to have it right. He then goes on to say those players were in a different situation. Maybe they had some help when they were young. Maybe they were in another project. What project, bruv? Because this project will never work. He's never worked in the history of football. So stop fucking speeding us this project, bruv. This project's a fugazi. All right? It's the biggest load of... It's the biggest myth and lie ever to exist. And it's the PR that's pushing this... Just the process. And the PR has killed our football club. Yeah? Understand this. The players, like John Terry... Learnt off experienced generals, World Cup winners, elite players. We have an elite player in Thiago Silva who's been exiled. We were forced to play in the last game. And you want to try and blame him. People want to have a agenda on Thiago Silva. The reality is he's been exiled and he's forced to play because why? Of our injury record. No Enzo tonight. We got no Sterling. We got no bad... Uh, what's his name? This RC, bruv. Who else is on the list, bruv? Obviously, Nkunku, Carl Wills. Um... Reese James is on there. All the all the usual culprits, bruv. The reality is, it's their medical teams are shambles. The rehabilitation programs are shambles. Why? Because the squad is thin. So when these players get some sort of fitness and training, they rush back in for them to get injured again. Because Pochettino doesn't have any time. They are trying to buy time with this FFP nonsense, buying the two hotels. The reality is, this is all they do is buy time merchants. But you ain't going to buy time, not in this league, and not with the supporters, because we're almost two seasons in, and we're a shambles, bruv, and we ain't moving anywhere fast. So have it right. In fact, we're staying stagnating mid-table, because that's the model. The model is a mid-table model. Oh, what a surprise, you bunch of clowns and wrongins. Wake up, bruv. All right? He says, uh, we're in a project where 80 to 90% of the players are young. They need to grow all together. They need some help. That's why we are here, to help them in the process to become leaders. We're talking about too many players that only arrived this season at Chelsea. Excuses, FC. Excuses, FC. And I'm not interested. I don't care about excuses. Apparently, we're buying world-class super youth players. Really? Is that right? Well, if that was the case, why don't you buy Endrick? instead of letting Real Madrid buy him for 60 million, where you could have bought him for 60 million, uh, because you were worried about inflating the market, we well, have inflated the market anyway. Do you know, I've seen all this nonsense that uh, Nico Fulgent Jackson is worth 75 million on the, on, the, on the market, on the transfer market. This is what these clowns will go by. They'll go, look at that. We bought him for 30 million and we can save 75 million, massive profit margin. We bought Mudueke for 30 million or 25 million. We're going to sell him for 50 million, massive profit margin. All these players, and as the years go on, and the tax they offset the tax on the depreciation of these of these signings, and they've got their payments spread over eight years, they are landing profits. Whether you think they're not or they are, they are. And this is what I'm saying. Their model's working financially. They just need to iron a few things out. But the, the reality is they're making money, bruv. They're making money, bruv. And that's all you need to know, bruv. Yeah. Andy Townsend was on uh, TalkSport early and basically said that Chelsea squad is not that good. He's not wrong. Exactly. This is this is PR and buying time from Pochettino's the mouthpiece. Says, yes, man, for these clown lakes and the Kerry wins Stanley Stuart Little. They're all buying time because they're fuck-ups. They've made mistakes after mistakes. This team assembled was assembled by AI, same as Burnley, the same AI scouting that Burnley used, as the MLS used. But we don't buy from the MLS. Work that one out. They're too interested in buying sporting Lisbon stakes because they want to go in the Portuguese market. They've told you this. Do your due diligence. Go and do your research on these clowns. Go and listen to what they say and wake up because they've already said what they're going to do. I've been exposing everything they're doing and you still don't want to listen. You still want to sit back. Oh, we don't have any power. We do as supporters. We have all the power. The power is with the supporters because the supporters are the ones that have allowed them to buy this time because they've used the PR to buy the supporters and their time and their patience. The supports ain't going to be no patient no more. I'm not patient. I know it's not going to work. This is not work. This is not going to work on an ambitious level, on a success level, or on football terms to win trophies. This is only going to win on a financial level. That's it. That's all it is, bruv. They are worse than the Glazers. They are worse than the Glazers. These are the worst owners in football history, bruv. Yeah, let's have it right. People just don't wake up, bruv. Only the Minnows FC are awoke, bruv. Yeah, Frank LaBeouf has been landing Minnows 
ever since he's been calling out these clowns. So have it right. Uh, big up to Swiss Daniel. He says, just saying Eden would never let this happen. If Shell CFC was in a title race, don't ever compare Salah to one of our CFC greats. There's levels to this at the Chelsea. Facts. Eden has always been clear of Salah, bro. Aesthetically clear. Um, clutch clear. He's clear, bro. He's just clearing all, all that. Eden Hazard is clear of uh, Salah. Salah couldn't even get into Chelsea's team because at that age, he was doing absolutely nothing, bro. All right? He would never have got in. And neither would Kevin De Bruyne. And these clowns thought Kevin De Bruyne and Mo Salah come from our academy. They're so clueless, man. These money ball yanks, bro. They ain't got a fucking clue about our football club, our heritage. So have it right. But it's true. Facts learned. Big up Swiss Daniel. Big up Gross Newman. Mills of C. Altry says, Big up Johnny. That second half performance was a disgrace. However, I do believe we can win the, the last six games if we could win the league as City play Forest away and Brighton away in the space of three days. City know they're a world machine. They're winners. When you've crossed the line, you've got that experience and you've won. You can't hold back, bruv. You can't underestimate that. It doesn't matter what you say. City will go and win the title now. That result was the worst result you could have had. You should have been beating Aston Villa. And I'm glad you're in the mud. I love it. I'm drinking your tears, bruv. But the reality is, you got Chelsea to play. you still got Spurs to play. I can't see it, mate. I can't see it. Unfortunately, I cannot see it. Big up to Justin. He says, do you think with Mount's elite mentality and new structure at Man United, they will deliver trophies soon and regular? If so, do you think he could be remembered as MM7, a United legend? I hope he does. Absolutely, he will be. The infrastructure is going to be built in. You're going to get a Tommy T in the dugout. Let's have it right. And uh, I'll be real. You've got all the right directors, all the right atmosphere and environment upstairs now where the Glazers take a step back for you to build with a gaffer. And if you do build with Thomas Tuchel and you go in the market and you cut out the dead wood and get rid of these Rashfords and shit like that, you, your Luke Shaws, uh, your Maguires, your McTominays and all these guys, bruv, that ain't United level, never will be United level. That's what you got to do. If you do that, and I think they will do that. And this owner's moving sharpish, bruv. He's bought a 25% out of the Glazers' state, which is like 18%, 17%. Yet he's pulling strings. But if it all falls down, Kanye West, it goes tits out, he will be the full guy. So the Glazers take, oh, they, 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 they don't get the blame. And that's what it's all about with these, these American owners. They don't want to be blamed. These clowns we got, everyone should be blamed except them. They're the ones to blame. They're the ones that killed our football club. They're the ones I want out. They can sell this club. Get them out, just like the Glazers can sell the club. And when Man United protest, they broke into the stadium, they broke into the mega store, they broke into everything, protested it on a, on a, on a high level, bruv. All right, with real minerals landed. That was where that was the moment where the Glazers put the club up for sale behind the scenes. That's what we got to do at Chelsea because that PR will sabotage the look that these these clowns want at our football club. That face, that celebrity main character syndrome that they're doing all the thing, all the right things when they're trying to mud Don Roman. Don Roman, you'll never be Don Roman Abramovich. You'll never be Don Roman Abramovich. You'll never have those minerals. You will never win as much as Don Roman. You'll be lucky if you win anything at this rate, all right, because you don't want to win. You give it all the bigger and all the PR talk that you want to win. The reality is if you want to win, you wouldn't have sacked Thomas Tuchel. You wouldn't have gutted our Champions League winning team. You wouldn't have gutted our med med uh, medical team. You wouldn't have gutted out. You would have got elite directors you, if you sack Thomas Tuchel, you bring an elite gaffer. You don't bring us Jellyfish Potter. You don't bring us Frank Lampard back for a second stint as a PR stunt. You definitely don't bring us an ex Spursy gaffer in Bottletino, who's won nothing English football, bruv. All right? And you definitely don't give us just an average age of kindergartens. Let's have it right. That's what you don't do. Well, you did do that. So you ain't got ambition. We mud you 24-7 because you ain't got any, any ambition to, to win at our football club. And that's the reality, bruv. But I will say, Mason Mount with the right structure, right gaffer, because Ten Hag's out of his depth. He isn't elite. He's never going to be able to implement the Ajax model. All right? And that's why I believe Ratcliffe and Ineos, they want their guy. They don't want him. He knows he's going to get sacked. The players know it. And that's why your results are capitulating. That's the honest, honest way I see it. And to be honest with you, I hope you do fall. But the reality is you are going to rebuild in the right way because your owner's not there to just make money. He's there. He's already publicly said it's not a financials. I've made enough money. I want to bring Man United where they are because he's a football man. 
He's a football man. We don't have football men. We have data, AI merchants, Wall Street hedge fund merchants, equity merchants, clowns at our football club. That's the difference, bro. You're owned by clowns, but these clowns ain't stupid to tamper with the structure and the model. They're happy to milk the, the marketing side of things and, and all the profits that Man United make being the biggest club on a marketing scale in, in, in England and in you know in Europe, along with Real Madrid. They are right up there, which is why they're, they're basically creaming the money and spending here and there. That's the reality of Manchester United. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but you need them out. You need them out. And I think Ratcliffe will probably try and buy majority shares. It's a slow process unless someone else comes in with big, big, big pay, a big bid and just signs the football club as a whole, bruv, with Ratcliffe there as well. Who knows? But Mason Mount will land the minerals. I don't doubt it, bruv. I know how elite this baller is. He won us the Champions League, Super Cup, Club World Cup, got us top four, was our player of the season back to back, broke breaking stats galore, um, Cobham DNA. You know, we sold that for the pound note for profit because of their financial fair play mess because they thought they were being clever with uh, amortizing, con amortizing contracts uh, and implementing this model. The reality is they've blown all the money because they want to cash money out as quickly as possible. They spent that billion, which allows them to, to milk the club. This is how they are, bruv. They're, they're, they're vultures. They're vampires, bruv. Vampires want our pension, bruv. Let's have it right. All the PR... All the PR that comes out from these brown envelopes, yeah, 90% bullshit. But the reason people read it is because they don't know, they don't want to do their own research. They ain't got time for it. They're lazy, like social media makes everyone lazy. And they want it as entertainment because the rest of it, that 10% is entertainment. It's exactly what it is. Let's have it right. Shout out, Denzi, bro. Uh, big up to uh, Gary becoming a Minerals FC Ultra member. As I always do on the show, you select which video would you like. Do you want the, the failed actor Jennings? Do you want Don Roman Abramovich? Do you want Fabrizio Fraud and Rano, bruv? What video do you want? Put it in the chat and I'll put it up for you, my geezer. Big up to you for becoming a Minnows FC Ultra member. Uh, big up Rebel Rises says Chelsea are the first top flight side to both score and concede at least two goals in seven consecutive matches in all competitions since Aston Villa in 1930s. All the clowns bought in is negative records. Negative records galore. Absolutely true. And this is exactly where we are at Chelsea. This is where we are. That is a disgrace, bruv. Yeah. We Let's not forget the season that they came in. We had the worst season since 30 years ago, bruv. If you took away Thomas Tuchel's 10 points, we would have been relegated last season. And this season, take away Cole Palmer's 31 GA, we would be getting relegated this season. So where have we progressed, you trust the process melts? We ain't progressed nowhere, bro. We're stagnating. Everything pays over cracks, bro. Yeah, everything. I'm not stupid. The minerals if Silchers are not stupid. Let's have it right. And we will continue to land the damn minerals. Yeah. Big up, uh, um, big up uh, Jerry. Gerardi, man, land the minerals. What video do you want, my geese? And I'll land it in the chat, bro. I'll land it on the screen, mate. I will land it on the screen. Um, so make sure you do let us know. Make sure you do let us know. Um, where is it? Smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button, guys. Every single one of you, smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Respect to everyone in here. Keep landing your minerals. I'm just checking something very quickly here. Du, 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 du. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I am the same. I'm consistent. Win, lose, or draw, I will land it and say it for what it is. Pot says we need to bring more young players. We need to bring in some experienced players, but that's that's that is all about talking. It's about agreeing with the club, analysing, designing uh, the strategy for the next season, and to go out and fight for big things. PR waffle, more youth, get in the bin. I'm done with it. Experience, you ain't getting that, and that's facts. Um, he says, I think the way we drew the game against Sheffield United, we need to, to all feel very disappointed because you you see the McBurney goal. We lose one challenge. We lose the second. The third. Listen, it's poor. Well, that, that is, that is, listen, even Pochettino's putting all his PR, yeah? 
He was the one that came out and said mint tables are reality. So where are we getting Europe from? Where's all this? Where's where's all this hope? Rory Jennings won. All right, let's go. Let's go, Jerry, bro. Let's go. Let's land it for you, my geezer. Minnows FC Ultra, bro. Let's land it. Where is he? Let's get him up. Greetings from Centre Parks, by the way. That's uh, that's the background. I hope you're all well. This is just ridiculous, though, isn't it? It is ridiculous, but it's not ridiculous that we got a new Minnows FC Ultra member on the Minnows FC supporting the channel. Big up to you, my geezer. Um, <clears throat> He says, Pochino was asked if he would be happy to continue if Chelsea do not achieve the objectives that um, he replied. Of course, because when I arrived there, we already knew that we are not going to compete in Europe. So we're not playing in Europe, yet we are capitulating, stagnating, bruv. Yeah? Is that what we're doing here? Fuck. What mentality is this? This is poor mentality. This is poor. This is poor. This guy's just got to shut up. Too many circumstances have happened this season that makes it difficult for the team to evolve and that is part of the process. This all, uh, this season will help our decision uh, that we need to be right for next season. I don't want to hear what you're prepping for next season because you won't be here, bruv. Yeah. Shout out to Piers Morgan. You absolute wrong -un. He says, we've choked again. Unbelievable. Yeah, you choke old mer merchants for the Lego head. Let's have it right. Cuck old merchants, bro. Um, get in the bin. Um, mate, honestly, players reducing their wages as well. That's hilarious, bro. That's hilarious. Yeah. Listen, the reality, guys, yeah, is today... Everton would be docked a further two points. We would, without Cole Palmer's um, GA, we'd be sitting 17th. And that's not including Everton without points deductions. That's with points deductions of Everton. Imagine if they didn't have points deductions and Nottingham Forest have it right. That's a scary situation of where we are at Chelsea Football Club. That's why I can banter the owners and, and no one can banter me and rivals and that because I, I actually expose everything for what it is. All right, and I want it to change. All right, um, listen. Um, understand how these these owners work. Everything's calculative. Everything's PR. They won't stop. Yeah, they will not stop. But they are worried. So have it right. They are worried. And they're worried of what's going to happen. But the reality of the situation is they will find some Tom Roddy, communications director at Chelsea, and all the brown envelopes in the pockets of these clowns to push out some PR to mask uh, and try and steer away your, your anger away from selling Conor Gallagher, for example, uh, or making certain decisions or bringing in another gaffer. And, and that's the reality. It's the PR that, that is, is allowing them to implant their model. If we keep exposing the PR, because that's the battle right now, and we protest, we've got a chance, bruv. Yeah? You know what I'm saying? Facts. Emma Hayes uh, was ready to walk after CFC officials after the Gooners game. She's already told Win Stanley to jog on. Stuart Little, they're tampering with the women's team. People don't want to hear it. People don't want to acknowledge it. But just like they do with Jellyfish Pot and like they do with Pochettino, and they do it with Frank Lampard as well, the reality situation is they want their yes men because they want to control everything. And they haven't got a clue. But all they want to control is what gets out. They want to control people like Thiago Silva and Bell Silva. Why is Thiago Silva getting exiled? Because his wife, that isn't him, he's laying the minerals. And saying if it, you've got to change it, otherwise you can't go on any longer. She's talking about the model. The models kill Chelsea, all right? And Bill Silver will come out and land the truth. And so will Thiago Silva. But you have to play him now because we've got injuries galore again. Constant injuries. Sanchez out again. A third choice goalkeeper from Seagull Merchants that you bought on a five year deal. Absolutely criminal, bruv. Look at these howlers, bruv. They want Eddie Howler. Oh, that's a perfect match, isn't it? Howlers galore, bruv. Yeah, these clowns have made mistake after mistake, and that is what they are. They are the biggest mistake for Chelsea Football Club. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But as always, you got the usual, and don't forget the CEO calling us customers. 
increasing, making all these increases. They're doing it anyway. What don't you get? These owners are doing it anyway. Then nothing's going to stop them, bro. Yeah? Milo Foley made out. His quote is, there's a lot of walls to break down at Chelsea. All right? He's broken. He's knocked down the Roman Empire, bruv. And he's trying to rebuild it in 10 years. But not that way. Financially. Chaos. Order out of chaos, bruv. Destruction. These lot of pagans, bruv. Get them out of our football club. Do you understand me? These clowns. Vultures. Vampires. Disgrace. Never proper Chelsea. Never Chelsea, bruv. Never Chelsea. All right? On this game tonight, there is no excuse to not beat Everton. They haven't won at, uh, won at our ground. What was it? I saw for 20-odd years or something. Something ridiculous, bruv. You know, we're going to break that record as well. Um, the reality of the situation is we got injuries. No Enzo. I mean, who's going to play midfield? You can play Chukameka. He might get injured again. You've only got Mudueke, you've got Mudrick, you've got Jackson, you've got Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer is a 10 or a false nine, doesn't work. You have to play on the right wing. All Sean Dyche has to do with Everton is keep Cole Palmer quiet. Because if you do that, that's all we got. That's our main outsource of, of output. You know what I'm saying? The product productivity. Um, that's our GA as a whole. Cole Palmer can hold his head up high. As is Conor Gallagher, Thiago Silva. These players, man, they can have their chins up, bruv, and they're doing us proud, bruv. That's the reality. Everyone else, pff, mate, mate, it's embarrassing, bruv. Three points is a must because we need to capitalise on everyone else dropping points. But the reality is, even if we win this game, we stay ninth. So it's not like anything to get excited about, be happy about, bruv. You know what I'm saying? Um, but listen, I'm 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 at, I'm looking forward to see Cole Palmer land some minerals tonight, and we need to win this game, and we need to drink in the tears, continue to drink the tears, because if we don't, and we draw this game or we lose this game, I will tell you what, man, we need we we need a riot, irrespective win, lose or draw. That's the reality. And obviously, there's a boycott going on. You saw the amount of tickets that went on the exchange of season ticket holders, and they haven't been sold. Which means only one thing, one thing only. There's been enough games this season where the season ticket holders don't need to scan this game so they can have empty seats. Or they do go to the game or they sell them privately and these, these seats get filled. But let's see what seats don't get filled tonight. And that might be a good thing. I think there's going to be thousands of seats empty. And if that's the case, you know what I'm saying? I feel a bit embarrassed going to this game. Really, I should be going, bruv. You know what I'm saying? But... It is what it is. Like, let's land it. I'm going to land minerals, bruv. I guarantee it. Roman Abramovich's chance. I'll be there, bruv. I'll be there. I ain't going to let go, bruv. Yeah? We need to bump into these journos. We need to bump into the owners, bruv. And land, land minerals on them. Because no one's got the bottle of minerals to do it, bruv. People go, oh, you ain't got minerals, Johnny. Yeah. I stood up in front of everyone. Shattered out in the dugout. This is not Chels. Screaming at the gaffer. Again, when we're playing Southampton, Potter, name me one geezer that's gone and done that. So don't come at me, I ain't got bottle to do this. I've got all the bottle. I've got all the bottle, call it out for what it is, because I ain't bought. I don't care about circles. Shout out Lee Gunner, people begging for redirects, getting his number and this and that. It's embarrassing, bruv. Earn it, you're right. Earn, be self-made. Go out there like Lee did, like I'm doing, and be self-made. Work your jobs, go and do your streams, and stop begging for handouts, bruv. Right, because you want clicks. This is the reality in the game, bro. The, these wrong uns, it's why I stay well clear of them because they love to walk in the elephant walk. They love an elephant walk and they're in a circle, bro. Yeah, these elephant walk circle merchants, we stay well clear of them, bro. Yeah, we don't have any part of this, bro. All right, let's have it right. So, the reality of the situation is change the model. Yeah, change the model. Hashtag with CFC. Um, keep pushing it out. The reality is we need, we need a land. Uh, a protest, and we need to team up with Strasbourg Ultras, and that's what we've got to do. We're going to need to do a joint protest, organised. You know what I'm saying? A friendly protest, as friendly as you want, bruv. So let's have it right. Um, I I want to see what happens, bruv. Uh, today is a must win, 
a must win and I won't accept anything less. If it's a draw or a loss, I'm, I'm rattled, bruv. Because at the end of the day, we should be beating this Everton team, bruv. They are better than Sheffield United and they are better than Burnley, a 10-man Burnley. Let's have it right. And uh, they both came back and we dropped points at home and away. So, you know what I'm saying? Our form's in the bin. We ain't got nothing, bruv. Big up to everyone in here, landing the damn minerals. Respect to everyone. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Every single one of you, yeah? Every single one of you smashed the piece of the like button. Everyone propping these clowns for buying two two of our hotels onto their company need to be put in a bin. Uh, you're, you're a laughing stock. And it's a savvy move, but the reality is it's only buying them time. So don't forget that. They've still got to go ahead with what the plan is originally. And that's the reality, bruv. Um, we need what? Yeah, three goals uh, to lead with just to just to try and have a cushion, bruv, because we're that poor. Um, if we get the first goal, I think we'll, we'll either comfortably win or draw the game. I don't think we'll lose if we've scored the first goal. If they score the first goal, um, then I think it's squeaky bum time um, and the mentality is not there at this football club. We've got no DNA, no elite mentality, no pressure. The only pressure that comes that comes is from the supporters, no one else within the club. Um, the players are just not, are not good enough. You know, they're not ready. They're not Premier League ready. They're not Chelsea ready. They're lucky to be wearing a Chelsea shirt. You understand me? And if I saw these players, I would tell them this. I would tell them, you are damn fortunate to be wearing a Chelsea shirt. You're not good enough to play for Chelsea. All right? So you either got to learn the middles, learn fast, or look at loaning and getting a loan elsewhere. Because that's the reality. And at the end of the day, it's not even their fault that they sign who's going to turn down his contract. It's down to the clowns. And I'll mud these clowns as long as I'm here, as long as I've got my platform. I'll continue to mud them, bruv. That's the reality, bruv. You criticise Thiago Silva, you have some shame, mate. Because Thiago Silva is world class. That's like Desai and John Terry. And our young players, like John Terry, learning off Desai, learning off elite, elite winners, bruv. Understanding that. Playing with Gianfranco Zolas and all these ballers, bruv. Viali's. Do you understand me? Viali gave John Terry his debut, bruv, as player manager. Do you understand the levels, bruv? Elite players. Been there, done that, football heritage. Where's that at Chelsea now? It's been gutted out. It's the Clown Lake culture now. It's uh, mid-table, mid-table mentality. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's trust the process. There ain't no trust the process because these clowns don't even trust the process that they're implementing. There is no process. It's a forgaze. It's a lie. It's a myth. It's false. Yeah? Just like Lego heads trust the process. All it is is to... Trickle along, get Champions League football, because Arsene Wenger, the four-eyed merchant, yeah, lanky toothpick, implemented and made top four a trophy as a PR. It's a it's a trophy to get top four. That's their mentality. He was a specialist in failure, just like Jose Marino said. Well, now these clowns are a specialist in failure at Chelsea Football Club. And that's where we end the stream. And that's where we land the damn minerals. Big up to every single one of you. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you go and see all the previous streams. Make sure you put all your comments down below. Respect to everyone. I'll quickly read this one out, Rebel Rising. Who is who is for you the best Chelsea player ever? If you're going on like output and trophies, is super Frankie Lampard. Um, super Frank. But for me, John Terry's there as well. But for me, I think the best player I've seen with my own eyes play football at Chelsea in my era is Gianfranco Zola. There is no one that I've seen play like that player. That player was something else. He's up there with the with the gods, mate, yeah, of the Maradonas of this world. You understand me? Um, so for me, Gianfranco Zola, best, best ever for me. And it's an absolute disgrace and a mockery to that heritage that we retired, that number 25, and these clowns just go, oh, we sang Casado, 150 million, world's most, uh, world's most expensive DM. And we're going to give him Gianfranco Zola's number. What a fucking joke. And you give Colwell 
John Terry's number. What's he done, bruv? Are you having me on, bruv? What is this wind-up? But for me, Gianfranco Zola, when you had the GOAT in Sir Alex Ferguson go, I hated Gianfranco Zola. I had to put two men on Gianfranco Zola. I had to stop him from playing. He was the one player I was worried about. Do you understand me? He had Jamie Carragher spit face on his ass, bruv, twice. Do you understand me? He scored worldies. He was elite, bruv. I'll never forget that goal against Wimbledon for the FA Cup where he done that back heel turn and smashed it in, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? The back heel against Norwich, bruv. Yeah, from a corner. And he said, the story is, he went to the hospital, saw this young kid who's a supporter of Chelsea, and he says, uh, what do you, he says, I, the little boy says, I want you to score. He says, I'll score for you tonight. I'll do something special. And he scored that from a corner, bruv. That in the air volley backflip. Are you having me on, bruv? That is elite, bruv. He won Napoli a title with Maradona. He played with Maradona. Yeah? Heritage, bruv. So for me, Gianfranco Zola, he was a magician. He's magical, bruv. Yeah? I haven't seen Eden Hazard. He's, he's close. But, but for me, Gianfranco Zola, bruv. I don't care what you tell me, bruv. Yeah? We ain't ever seen a player like that. Are you joking me, man? Uh, but it is what it is. Big up to everyone in here, land and minerals. Respect to Rebel Rise. Respect to all the minerals, FC Ultras. We're going to end it on the Roman Abramovich. Let's have it right. Uh, put all your comments down below. Smash the likes. Hit the subscribe button. And I will see you tomorrow for uh, for a show. And we will keep landing minerals. Eunice is going to be away. He's away on holiday, I think, right now. We'll try and get some people on uh, throughout the week. But keep your eyes peeled. Keep your notifications on. Make sure you're on Twitter and all that. Um, and let's have it right. Let's get in. Let's get a win tonight. Up the Chels. Up the Minnows FC. Clown Lake out. We'll sort it out. We ain't going to sort it out and change the models to get out. Let's have it right. Keep laying your minerals. Keep exposing these PR frauds and these brown envelopes. And respect and love to every single one of you. Stay strong. Keep winning in life. And we'll keep continuing laying the minerals. And I won't let go. Let's have it right. Pedal and metal, up the Chelsea, up the Mills of C. Let's go. This is not Chelsea.